But the problem is it's a dead fund. It's a dry fund. When, when at least you empty. Amen? So here we go. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater than riches and tre the treasures in Egypt, for he had reckon or respect to the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he would be destroyed, or at least that destroyed the firstborn should have touched him. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as dry land when the Egyptians, assayed to do so, were drowned. Amen. Father, I love you. I praise your name. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I know, God, there is no other God like you. I know, God, there's nobody that can touch us like you can. I ask you right now, Lord, to help us understand that we have unlimited and many times untapped potential within us. Help us, God, to understand this and help us, God, to get ready for a tremendous move of your spirit. Lord, this is not going to be, Lord, help help us, Lord. Lord, help me not just to preach a feel-good sermon, Lord, because all a feel-good sermon does is make you feel good and you still go out and mess up. Help me, God, preach a live-good sermon. Lord, what did it cause us to live good? Lord, I don't want to feel good. I want to live good. Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch us, anoint us, use us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The church said, Amen. I guess somebody tell somebody, I don't want just to feel good. I want to live good. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So the one that hurts my saddle oh, is still going to look good. Okay, you're looking good too. All right. Now, now so, so today we're going to talk for just a few minutes on because I'm not even going to do but just two parts. I mean, one part of the first part. Uh, one part of two parts. Praise God, I'll get it out of my mouth in a minute. Amen. Uh, <laughs> I got my, my teeth are over my eye. My, my tongue's crossing my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm trying to read here. Ready? Going from existing to effect. Going from existing to effect. I dare to say that there's people within the sound of my voice, not only here, but they can be outside of here. There's people within miles of here. Matter of fact, you can go as far as you want. And there are so many people that are existing. They're doing stuff. They're getting stuff done. But they're doing it in their own strength. They're doing it in their own power. They're doing it under their own anointing. And so they're, they're, they're uh, existing, but they are not effective, or as effective as they can be. You know, yesterday was a very powerful thing. Uh, 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 an illustration that, that we were, we were, we were uh, uh, power washing the sidewalk. So we got the sidewalk, see how pretty they look, in the front of the church. Also, we were power washing. For our power washer, we had an electric power washer. And, and I was watching, and it was taking forever to power wash that thing. And so we called for it. And again, I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to mention names because I was asked not to mention names. And so some of them just mentioned material. And so I'm going along to get a call for a bigger one. And so all of a sudden, it went from an electric one to a gas one. And now instead of going, it was like, <laughs> okay, the difference is one had some power, a little bit. One had existence, but the other was effective because it had the juice. You know what? I want to have the juice in my life. How about you? I don't want just to exist. When I stand before God, I don't want to look. When you stand before God, you know what he's going to show you? He's not only going to show you what you did wrong, he's going to show you what you did right because he's going to reward you for it. But he's also 